Hi YouTube family. I hope you all are doing really well today. I'm going to be exploring today the thought of wearing color and very bold colors. I recently did like a little bit of a questionnaire on all of my social media as to whether or not a woman of a certain age should wear colors or should she stop wearing colors? So what I wanted to do was, as you guys already know who have been around me for quite some time, is I love wearing color. But I thought it would be really fun to explore one color with each look. I owed you guys this tutorial of this eye look and it, yes, it does have a little bit of blue on the bottom of it, but it's a mostly lavender purple color eye look. And then I kind of followed that theme clear through in a monochromatic look because I know that 2019 is going to be the year of the monochromatic look that you're going to be seeing people do more. Um, either they're going to go like really earthy, their lips are going to still be really earthy or they're going to use color and then their lips are going to be close to the same color. So I thought it'd be really fun for us to explore each color as we go along. And then when I can do monochromatic looks, say if I get into cranberry or pink, I can obviously do monochromatic looks in those. I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy this new series on my channel. Let's get into this tutorial. I'm already going to have my foundation and my concealer, my eyebrows on, but beyond that, we're going to do all the rest of it. So let's get into it, you guys. Okay, you guys, first things first, I always tape up my eye with the Sephora guide tape. I use that um, to get a little bit crisper of a line there, create the effect of a slightly winged line right there. And I already primed my eye with this new Catrice uh, eye foundation. I don't know if I like this or not. I like the old formula better. They're prime and fine, but um, we'll see how that one goes in a few days. And then I'm going to go right up under this brow with my Benefit High Brow, and I'm going to create the illusion of giving my eyebrow a little bit higher of a lift with light there. There's no shimmer in this product at all. And then I'm gonna go into the inner corner right here, and I'm going to lighten that up with that pencil as well. And you're gonna to have to excuse my little friend that showed up 50 years old and I have acne. Don't ask me why, I don't get it. But my skin is changing worse than it ever has in my whole life. So we're gonna go into the Pretty Poison palette. We are going to use a Morphe M441 brush. This is my favorite fluffy bl 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 blending brush. And I'm going to start out with this color right down here, which is a muted rose color. Um, I believe it is called Pierced Heart. And I'm going to load my brush and I am just going to basically just start out very lightly in the corner, wherever you put your brush first, that's where it's going to deposit the color the most. So starting out here very lightly in the corner, I've been noticing recently that my eye look, because my eyes are changing shape with getting older and your skin changes a little bit, my eyes are getting much more hooded out here on the inside, but getting more sunken in in there. So I'm actually going to stay away from there too much with anything very dark. So I will put a tiny bit of this shadow over there, but not very much. And I'm going to use more of an arch right here in my eyebrow to just pay better attention to giving it a look where it's coming out and arched. And so I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow in there, but that's about all I'm gonna do in there. The rest of it's going to be really concentrated out here on the end of the eye. I use very small brush strokes or, you know, stippling motions and a very, very light hand with this first color. Next up, I'm gonna use my Morphe M433 brush and I'm gonna use a color right here called Nightshade and it is a muted purple, kind of um, a medium muted purple, very pretty color. I'm gonna load my brush up, tap it off. And again, I'm going to start out here in the outer corner, but I'm gonna start lower on the outer corner. So we can still see that first shade, but we're building up the outer corner first. Take it in rounded right there at the arch of your brow and I'm not going in with it hardly at all. This is the shade that most of the eye look is built on. So you might need to go back in a couple of different times to get this shade just right to where you want it to be. So be mindful of your own eye shape. 
where you how you want your eye to look when it's done you know each time you do your eye makeup you're going to be able to kind of trace out your own eye shape so that you are able to see what looks good on you maybe the straight line technique looks good where you um, use more of a straight across that looked good on me for years but now i'm having to change just a little bit to where i'm putting a little bit more of an arch right here so that my eyes look more lifted on the outside instead of looking like I have more shadow right there and making them look sunk in, which I don't want. Now I'm gonna take quite a bit of time to just use that eyeshadow right there on that outer part along the line of the tape. And now I'm using a flat shader brush. This is just a basic flat, dense shader brush. I don't even know how to explain it. It doesn't have any words on it anymore. This color right here, which is a very vibrant deep purple called intoxicated is what I'm going to use. I'm not using a lot of this to begin with because I don't want the, the look to get darkened too fast. I want it to be on my timetable. So I'm going to load my brush and tap it off. And I'm just going to start right there in the outer corner where you would do your outer V, not going up into this part right here, staying down more on the lid. And into the crease, and I'm gonna go over just a bit with the crease, about two thirds of the way, maybe half of the way, a little more than half the way. And I am just building up that color right there. And then what I always do, this is, this is how I always get my looks to look right. I'll look at my eye that's already done and my eye that's not, and I want those two to match up. So I always am looking at the two and making sure that those two are lining up. Now that I've deposited quite a bit of that color, I'm gonna go back in with my middle brush, which was the brush that had the medium purple on there. And I'm gonna blend all this together. I'm gonna go out in this line to where I'm creating a push V out this way. and I'm gonna make sure they are all blended together. Okay, at this point, you're gonna notice that it looks a lot darker right here on this side. That's because I have blue up in here. So we're gonna leave that right like it is. I'm going to switch over to my finger and we are going to use the color Phantom from Makeup Geek. This color, you guys, has been a color favorite of mine forever. This is my second pan of it. I'm gonna just show it to you right there. It is the most gorgeous, iridescent, lavender purple with a slight blue flip blue pink flip to it and i love this color on my eyelid i have for years it's just one of those ones that you just can't go wrong with and see how i'm just bringing it ever so slightly up to meet that so now i've got a lot of light color in here and i really like that now i'm going to take that shader brush with the purple on it and i'm just going to shade those two together and then I'm gonna go back in with my original shader and I'm going to blend all the way across so that we have a lot of continuity between everything. And then I'm gonna take just a flat, light. this is a concealer brush. I'm gonna put Phantom on that concealer brush. And I'm actually going to take this in my other hand because I have better control over it on this eye and I'm gonna lay it across and I'm gonna pull it up onto the eyelid, but I'm also going to pull it down underneath. And yes, you guys are gonna see my hand shake if you haven't been with me that long. I have an inherited palsy that keeps me from holding my hands very still. I apologize if it is distracting. Most of the ladies that have been with me for a while, they, they say to me over and over again, don't apologize for your hand, but I know that some people are like, do you realize you have a tremor in your hand? I do. And I, it's just something that I work around. I'm gonna take this Metallic Lights Eyeliner from Milani. This is in the color Blu-ray. I love this. I've only been able to find it on their website. I'm gonna take a hold of that tape so it will help me pull my eyelid down a little bit, my bottom lid down a little bit. I'm gonna tight line with that. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit extra right out there in the corner. That is because I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna use a little more blue right there. Now I'm going to take my Sigma uh, pen liner, very, very fine liner that I really love. And I'm just going to line the top lash line very, very tightly up there by the lashes. This has a tendency to get on my lashes and it can actually make my lashes kind of stick together. So what I do to keep it from sticking together is I have a Real Techniques comb and brush for eyebrows and eyelashes. And I just go back in with the brush part 
and I kind of comb out the extra product from the eyeliner that's gotten in there. Next, we're going to, I'm going to use my Atlantis palette. You guys don't have to buy these palettes. You can absolutely 100% just use what you have in colors. You'll come out with a very, very close look. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy all these palettes. This color right here out on the end is called Empire. This is a pencil brush from ColourPop. And I'm just gonna roll and load that brush. And, oh, I forgot. I'm gonna take my tape off. Now, when I take my tape off, what's gonna happen is I'm going to need to touch that up with my makeup sponge and maybe a little bit of concealer, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to smudge that color now, that blue color that we put down there already. I'm gonna use this color to set it and to smudge it. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to follow it along the tape line. I don't have to be super careful right here, but I don't want to let it go crazy either. Then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to push some of the blue up into the V. Okay, and now going back down, I'm getting really close to the eye and I'm just smudging. That is what the beauty of a pencil brush is is that then you have this gorgeous line that you've smudged, but you still have it fairly stark. So these pencil brushes are stiffer than the normal brush. That's why I think everybody should have one. They're very stiff, but you can still smudge with them. So I cleaned that one off just now. I'm gonna smudge a little bit more. Now, one more time with the medium brush that had the medium purple on it. I'm gonna go right there into that line to make sure all of the overhang is blended in. When I say overhang, I mean the flapped skin that I have right there. All right, now I do feel like this area needs to be touched up. I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna touch that up with my concealer. Okay, you guys, I did my concealer while I was off of camera, but I also put on my lashes too on this one, my mascara on this one. So this theme of having a monochromatic look to it, it really does mean that you're going to have to kind of match up your blush and your lipstick. Blush isn't quite so important because we know we always want a rosy tone or a peachy tone on our cheeks. We're not gonna wanna go purple on our cheeks too much, but I chose the Butter London blush in rosy pink. And this one is an, a really, a true pink it has a little bit of that blue tone on it so this works well with the lavender that I did use already so I am just going to pop a little bit of that on my cheeks and then one of my very favorite brand new highlighters is from Milani and this is hypnotic lights this one is in beaming light it is a beautiful beautiful lavender with an icy flip to it. Um, I just really think that this is a pretty color on the cheeks and it goes along with the theme that we're using right now. So I'm using a fan brush and I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. Gives a beautiful glow to it. No shimmer, no glitter with this. And it still gives that icy kind of purple look to it and then we're gonna go in with lips. What I'm actually going to use for my all over color today is from Sephora and this is their Rouge Gel Lip Liners. This one is in Bellflower. Bellflower, when you swatch it, looks very, very purple, um, which is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> when you put it on your lips, it won't look that purple because my lips do have a little bit of color, but we'll go ahead and we'll put that on the lip. Okay, used Bellflower to fill in mostly with the lips, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that uh, highlighter from Milani, I'm gonna pop that right in the middle of my lips. It's gonna look a little bit blue to begin with, but we're gonna take care of that with some lip gloss. Then I'm gonna take a L'Oreal lip gloss, it's called Galactic Lumiere Lip Gloss, and I'm going to pop that right all over everything. Then I'm gonna give my face a little spray with my Flower Beauty um, Hydrating Setting Spray. And that is it, you guys, that is the final look. I realized that I've gone into the lavender zone here, but I wanted to illustrate for you guys that it's okay to have this kind of a look. It still looks really pulled together, but you're staying within that monochromatic theme. We're gonna be exploring this monochromatic theme a little bit more each week. Anyway, I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial today. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I'd really appreciate it if you would do that for me. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions for me about the look 
or any comments about monochromatic makeup in general. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. I love you all very much and I'll catch you all in my very next video. Bye-bye you guys.